So when we think about combination products, we often look at it from the FDA's perspective. And so they'll categorize these products either as ones that have a primary mode of action of a medical device, or one is a primary mode of action as a drug. So for medical devices, these tend to fall into categories such as things like drug-eluting stents. Stents are things that prop open the, the, the artery to prevent it from clogging, but they add a drug on there to prevent it from scarring over. Those are sorts of things we can work on. Another one is drug-coated balloons. There are some balloons that are now being designed to expand the sinus cavities for people who suffer from chronic sinusitis. They'll deliver a therapeutic agent on top of that to maintain the patency of those sinus cavities. Another example are certain types of catheters where you're trying to minimize infection. A class of catheters that are used to prevent swelling in the brain, and these can be implanted for months or even years. Incorporating antibiotics into these silicone catheters is something we've explored as well. Medical device combination products requires a really unique set of skills, both understanding of the devices and understanding of how to incorporate drugs onto these devices, and we really have that combination nailed down.